Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. My name is Crystal and today we're going to go through all the products that I would purchase first if I lost my entire makeup collection. God forbid that never happens, but these are my ride or die products. If I had to start again, these would be the first purchases that I'd make and I would love to share that with you. So you could kind of look at this as almost like a capsule makeup collection. I know that I already have a video on my channel that kind of already goes into this kind of topic but obviously preferences change over time and I did film that quite a while ago but I will have that linked in the description box below for you guys to check that out if you would like to but there may be a bit of overlap here as well but there are definitely some different ones in here versus that video so I did want to do kind of an updated version of that but this is if I didn't have any other options and I had to splash some cash this is what I would go for. Before we dive into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also go and check me out on my Instagram as well. I have my handles on the screen for you guys to go and check me out over there. And without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. Now guys, I am so sorry for this filming setup. I'm still sorting out this whole situation. I'm thinking of getting like some prints or something for this wall behind me because um, in my old videos, I actually had like a curtain. You guys were actually facing the window that was behind me, but in this new setup, I actually don't have the window there so I've got to kind of figure out what I'm going to do whether I want to make this more of a professional setting like having a plain background like um, some of the professional youtubers have let me know what you guys prefer or whether you're okay with this setup I'm still kind of trying to figure it all out I feel like my whole YouTube journey has just been me trying to figure it out to be honest so any suggestions would be great let me know in the comments below what you think I should do to kind of jazz up my background I definitely want to get rid of this like heinous chair that's for sure but we'll see what happens with that in the future but let's just dive straight in um, I have tried to categorize everything as best I can but the first item that I would be going to repurchase is actually like probably the most inexpensive thing that I'm going to mention today and it's actually this lip balm by Dermal Therapy. Now this is my all time favorite lip balm. I have like six of these in my house at any given time. You can get them from Priceline and I think they're $5.95 a piece. I usually grab like four or five of these whenever I see them in stock because they fly off the shelves like nothing else. That's why I haven't tried anything like the um, Bite Beauty Argave lip mask, I think that's what it's called, or the Laneige sleeping mask because this bad boy right here is a fraction of the price and does just as good a job if not better like I haven't tried them so I can't say that but honestly my lips love this so I don't really see the point in trying anything else in the meantime but this would be literally the first thing that I use like Luke my fiance he literally loves this as well like he has to have this around him at night time because he likes to have lip balm on before he goes to bed um, and he loves this particular one as well so that's definitely a winner I'll just go straight into eyeshadow palettes because I talk about eyeshadow palettes all the time um, a lot of these you guys will totally recognize if you've seen my other videos um, most of these are by like my cult favorite brands but most of them are from Huda Beauty just because like that is my favorite formula um, so this one is the nude medium palette it just looks like this on the front and then inside it just looks like this now please do ignore my janky nails I haven't had a chance to do them yet so we're dealing with what we got um, but this is what it looks like inside there's a lot of neutrals in there there's a lot of shimmers which I love every single time I do my makeup with this eyeshadow palette I am always really happy with the outcome so that's the first one Next up are two others by Huda Beauty. I'll just do them together. So I have the New Nudes and the Desert Dusk. So these two are like old school palettes that have been around for a while. They're definitely staples in the game, um, definitely for different kinds of looks. So this is the New Nudes palette. I love this palette. I just, again, every single time I do my makeup with this eyeshadow palette, I'm always very happy with the outcome of my makeup and the same goes for the Desert Dusk palette as well. So this is the Desert Dusk palette. There's a lot of purples in there, a lot of glitters, a lot of shimmers. Um, it just looks really, really nice. So I love both of these and they would be some of the first that I would go out to purchase straight away. Next up is the Anastasia Soft Glam. This is like a staple not only for me, but for my makeup kit for clients. Uh, the kickback on this is a lot, uh, like it's a lot more potent than on the Huda Beauty palettes, but at the same time, the outcome is still very similar. I still think the Anastasia eyeshadow palettes may come second in terms of formula for me to the Huda Beauty ones. And that's just because of that kickback and that fallout. I don't feel like it's as prevalent with the Huda Beauty ones, um, but I love the shade range in here. A lot of staples in here, and I feel like you just can't go wrong with this palette. It's 
it's stunning. Next up, I have to mention the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original palette. This is the original formula. So I can't talk about the new formula. If it is much different, I'd be very disappointed. Uh, but this is my palette. Um, I have two, I have one for my kit and one for me. That's how much I love it. Um, but I love it specifically for this shade right here, which is Beam. So Beam is like my all time favorite inner corner highlight. I love it on me. I love it when it's wet. I love it when it's dry. It comes up beautiful every single time. Like without fail, it will perform. Um, and this palette is so versatile. All the shades are here on the back. A lot of them are neutrals. You do have a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pop of color in there but it's enough to still be like an accent so if you're doing like a neutral look you might want to do um, a blue lower lash line and it's still like neutral but you've got a pop of color in there as well so I love this palette I don't have enough amazing things to say about it regardless of the whole saga that has been floating around for Jaclyn Hill for quite a while now I still love her original and it's really hard to contest that it's a great palette um, and that's why it would be one of my first purchases. So I'm just going to smash through lips next, I think. I've got two lip glosses and three lipsticks. Maybe I didn't grab my liquid lipstick, but the liquid lipstick that I would purchase straight away would be Caramello by Stila, the Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. That shade is everything. I think it's so beautiful. And I think I've had about four of those tubes so far in my like makeup lifetime. Um, and I would totally purchase it again if I ever lost it or if I which seems like I have lost it. So maybe I will be purchasing it soon, but I love that liquid lipstick. Um, I would purchase Blankety by MAC straight away. This again is one of my all time favorite shades. I've had, I think six tubes of this. I think I end up taking like a whole stack of them back to MAC and then got another one. And the lady was like, wow, you obviously really like this particular shade. I was like, yeah, girl, I love that shade. It's like my ride or die. It's like my signature shade. Aside from these two by Huda. So I have Prom Night and Anniversary by Huda. Both of these are so, so beautiful. I've janked up my Prom Night one somehow. I have no idea how I've done it. it. Happens all the time. I can see that I'm nearly running out of Anniversary. So I'm probably going to have to look at repurchasing Anniversary, which is this one here. So that's those two. And I love the packaging, like how you can see the shade on the outside. Um, but yeah, I'm really disappointed that I janked up my prom night. I think I accidentally left it in my car and it was a bit warm and yeah, my lipstick kind of wore the brunt of that. And then I have two lip glosses here. I have my Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss, which I love. I'm nearly out of this. I'm kind of scraping the bottom for this now. And then I also have my Hourglass Unreal Provoke uh, Lip Gloss. Now this is incredible. It smells like mint. Like I... Oh, I love the smell of it. It just smells so beautiful. Like it's not invasive. Um, it's just like super luxe and it's like super weighted. Let's move on to brows. So I'll just smash through brows real quick as well. So I would definitely purchase the Precisely My Brow in the shade three. I love this for the tail end of my eyebrows. Uh, the Full Proof uh, Brow Powder by Benefit. This is in the shade three as well. I love this for the front part of my eyebrow and to create hair like strokes that are soft in the front of my eyebrows because I actually have to build my eyebrows up quite a lot. I do have a video on my channel um, which is my eyebrow routine. I will link that in the description box below as well if you'd like to see that. Um, and then my OG, I love this product. This is Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is in shade three as well. Um, I can also use shade two. Shade three is a bit deep, but I do love this product. I have purchased this over and over and over again, and I have continued to love it throughout the years with no fault. Um, I come back to that every single time. There's no other brands that create a fiber like eyebrow gel that I have actually gravitated towards other than that one by Benefit. So I will continue to use that throughout the years and I just, I can't do my makeup routine without it. So I must have it no matter what. Next up, I'll just do the miscellaneous now. So um, I have my Duo Lash Glue. Now this one in particular, because it's latex free. So I used to find that when I was first learning how to put lashes on my own face, um, my eyes would water up so much and I just couldn't get them to stop. And then I found out it's because my eyes have a reaction to latex. So I was over the moon when I found out that Duo made a latex free version of their lash glue and it has the stick as well. I don't like the squeezy tubes. I'm more into like the stick applicators 
it's just so much easier all the brush applicators um, and that's why I love that one and I purchased that straight away two pigments that I must have on me is the makeup forever style it powder in the shade 13 it's like this gold shade I'll see if I can show you guys you probably won't even be able to see but it's like this beautiful beautiful gold shade and then I also have a pigment here by Inglot which um, I got this in England last year one of the best purchases I ever made now is this white powder probably you can see my face this white powder with a gold reflect in it I'm trying not to spill it everywhere but it looks stunning on brides like if you're a makeup artist definitely look into getting this because it's such a beautiful beautiful product let's dive into a few other things for the eyes and finish that whole category off because i feel like it's just like a whole other game going through the eyes and the lips and then we're going to go into the next game which is going to be the face base um so these last products that i have here are eyeliners and mascaras so the two eyeliners that i would purchase straight away would be the inglot gel eyeliner number 77 this is just the black paint pot gel liner as you can see just here so it's just yeah this is well loved it's performed perfectly every single time i've used it and um i wouldn't go for anything else really it's just always been super reliable oh actually no let's just say i do also like black track by mac that's also super reliable but i think if i had to choose between the two i would definitely get the one from inglot first uh, but then i also have this um, eye pencil by mac it's in the shade coffee it just looks like this it's just a beautiful dark coffee brown shade and i just pop that in my waterline and it just really defines the eyes and it looks stunning it looks stunning on so many different skin tones so many different eye shapes like you can't go wrong with that product so i definitely love that one by mac and then the two mascaras that i must recommend would have to be the damn girl mascara from too faced i've used this like a bajillion times i love the packaging on this i think it's stunning it looks like a crystal which like obviously like that's my name so it looks like a crystal it's so bougie look at it like reflecting the light so pretty and then for the lower lash line i will only ever 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 use this mascara and this is the mac extended play giga black lash you can't go wrong with this product it does not smudge it does not smear or transfer on your lower lash line i have that issue with my upper lash line and my lower lash line it happens all the time drives me mad but that product has never ever transferred on me and it never ever will because it's super reliable and i feel like mac just hasn't been getting the love that it deserves lately and i definitely think if you're looking to get back into mac this is one of the products that you should start with along with the product that I'm about to talk about which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. Now if you are similar in skin tone to me I usually fake tan with Bondi Sands Aero the eight hour like overnight kind of one that you sleep in. Um, I use this to brighten my under eye. So it's so reliable glass packaging so it's super bougie and weighted and it has a pump uh, the pump can be kind of a bit annoying to be honest with you but look you get every single bit of product out of there it is super thick like because that's like this sits flat in my makeup collection like as you guys have seen i have my makeup collection linked in the description box below for you guys if you haven't seen that video moving on to concealers i can see my camera is flashing at me so i'm gonna have to wrap this up as fast as i can uh the three concealers that i have here i have the tarte shape tape this is in the shade light you can't go wrong with this product it's great doe foot applicator easy to get like right up there I've nearly spilled product everywhere, but love that. I also have the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. Again, doe foot applicator. And then the final concealer that I have here is Medium Custard by NARS. Um, this is their Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Love this. I've had multiples of this particular shade. Again, if you do use Bondi Sands as your tan uh, in the ultra dark, I tend to use this in conjunction with the foundations that I'm about to show you which includes NARS Punjab as my general shade that I go for and this is the natural radiant longwear foundation love this has a pump it looks 
beautiful. The packaging is so luxe. Um, glass packaging, I love it. I love NARS. You just can't go wrong with them for their bases. They're just so good. Whilst we're smashing through it, just because I can see my camera still flashing at me, it's just freaking me out. I also have the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation in the shade Cashew. I love this for when I'm a little bit more fair. And then I also have the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation in the shade Tawny. Love this. And then last but not least, I have the Stay Naked Urban Decay uh, liquid foundation. This is in 30WY. Love this as well. Has a pump. They all have a pump, which I can really appreciate. Um, and all of those shades work for me with my Bondi Sands fake tan throughout, like it wearing off and stuff like that. So I definitely recommend those. I do have a video on my channel where I do talk through all of the foundations that I recommend for a makeup kit if you are establishing one. I'll have that linked in the description box below as well for you guys so you can go and check that out. But I will just jump into primers. I have the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas Primer. This is the solid form. I've shown you guys this on my channel multiple times before. I love this. I think it's so great and it smells like lavender. It's so, so, so beautiful. And then I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, I think this is just like a veil. Um, most of mine has like worn off okay guys so my camera died i've just charged it for like five minutes just so that i can try and finish this video now i think it cut out when i'll show you guys the packaging for the so hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury this is what mine currently looks like it's all dinged up there's like nothing left of the packaging so i do love it though the applicator on this for a primer is very unique it's a doe foot applicator I'm wearing this today. It just gives such a really nice glowy skin look, um, if that makes sense. I don't think what I said made sense at all. But anyway, I'm so flustered from like my camera dying. I didn't charge prior to filming. Totally my fault. But anyway, moving on to powders, um, I recommend these two powders. These would be the two that I would run out and buy straight away. This is the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Oldie but a goodie. Everybody knows what it is. It's definitely worth the money. It's a staple. And then the next one, which is actually covered in powder because I used this today. This is the Hourglass uh, Mineral Veil Loose Translucent Powder. So I think I was just showing you the back, but this is the front with the beautiful gold writing and then the bronze lid. Super luxe, super beautiful. It's expensive. Won't lie about that. Anything hourglass is expensive, but that is totally worth your money. So definitely don't sleep on that. If you haven't tried it, definitely run out and try it out because it's so worth the money. It took me a couple of goes to like get into it but once i was into it i loved it so just keeping on the back of the powders i've talked about this a million times on my channel i have to have this in my life if i had to have like one product and nothing else i think i'd go for this one so this is the makeup forever i think this has like no labels or anything on it. I don't know if I could just got a dud packaging, um, but I'm pretty sure this is their powder makeup. I'm not quite sure. It has no numbers or anything on it at all. So I'm not quite sure, but it looks like this. I've shown you guys mine a million times. <laughs> I've hit major pen on it. I am ordering a new one of these this week along with the uh, new Huda Beauty palette, the Naughty Nudes palette. I'm going to order them together just because I've got a 10% off code for my points, um, so I'm just gonna order them together. Love that powder, I use that to touch up all the time. I've used it to touch up throughout this video and it's definitely something not to sleep on because not only can you touch up if you're an oily person, but it also does give you a little bit of coverage as well. So if any of your foundation lifts throughout the day, that is the best touch up powder to get because not only does it um, lift away your oils and not clog your pores, but it also gives you that extra coverage. So moving on to setting sprays. Now I've talked about these ones quite a few times on my channel as well. Um, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Rose. I love this, super inexpensive, super accessible, which is great. And I love the pink packaging. I love rose water for my skin. Anything rose water, I wanna hear about it because this stuff is genius. It's incredible and I can't say enough amazing things about rose water. And then the next one is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I love this, it smells like a watermelon lolly. Oh, it's just such a beautiful experience when you use this particular setting spray. So I'll just pop some on. Oh, it's just so refreshing. It's 
like it's such an overpriced setting spray and it doesn't even really set your makeup I don't think but it's just a good experience it's like you're in a spa it's I love it I I think it's worth the money it's my favorite glow recipe item that they've ever made and I can't imagine my life without it in it so I would definitely run out and buy that first and now we're on to the last two items. Again, I've talked about these a million times on my channel. This is how I'm gonna cover off on my blushes, my highlighters, and my bronzers. And that's with these two products here. I'm kind of cheating with this product because you can't get it anymore, but this is a staple. So this one here is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. You get an absolutely stunning bronzer in there, and then you get an absolutely beautiful highlighter as well. The highlighter is super, super, like satiny so there's no glitter in there whatsoever you probably can't see that on camera but look at how pigmented it is it was like one quick swipe and then that's the payoff that you get so the packaging on this is super luxe as well it is expensive but you get two products in there i think it's a hundred australian dollars or something like that for this product but it's basically fifty dollars a piece and you get like 10 grams of product sorry that's a lie you get 16 grams of product you get heaps so honestly i don't think that's like Overpriced. It's just that you're paying for two items versus one and that's why there is such a steep price point But I couldn't imagine my life without it nonetheless like I must have that like if I was going to have just one bronzer and highlighter duo That would be it and then the next one is this benefit cheek leader mini bronze squad I love this I've mentioned this a million times this was limited edition You can't get it anymore, but you can get the products that are inside So this is a gold rush the blush at the top you've got cookie highlighter and then you've got the hula bronzer down the bottom all of these are sold separately in minis or in full sizes i do have hula i think four or five times duplicated in my collection i have a jumbo i have it in this i have it in one of my other palettes and then i'm pretty sure i have it in a single like it's regular size as well i have a lot of hula and i don't I don't know why, I just kind of accrued it, but I love all three of those shades. If I didn't have all three of those shades, I would feel a bit lost. If I could only have one blush, and that's why I'm only mentioning one blush, it would be the Gold Rush blush in this palette. Like it is so universal, it's so versatile, I love it. And um, it does have like a gold sheen on the top of it when you first purchase it, but that goes away and it becomes this beautiful satin peachy look. And I am wearing it on my cheeks today. So if you're wondering what I was wearing, it's this blush. So I can see my camera is flashing at me again. I feel like I'm <laughs> dancing with the devil right now trying to get through this video. So that is the end of this video where we have discussed all the products that I would run out and purchase if I lost my entire makeup collection. Touch wood. That never ever happens because I love my makeup collection. I feel like it's perfectly curated now for what I need as a makeup artist and an individual user. And I don't think that I have too little or too much i feel like it is exactly where it needs to be i'm kind of now at a one for one with my collection like if i purchase something i have to have finished something or would have to declutter something to keep it consistent because i have definitely more than i need for one person but i'm happy with what i've got there's nothing now in my collection that i go I don't want that like that was a waste of money i'm pretty happy with everything that i've got like some stuff is more disappointing than others but i definitely love everything that i have so if you liked this video talking about all these products um i have them all just sitting down here if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel we have just beaten 1100 subscribers um my goal for this channel was to reach like 1000 subscribers and we've done that my next goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers and i would love for you to join the fam here we talk about all things makeup manifestation and a little bit of luxury and every now and then i'll throw in a vlog or i'll go on about some of the stuff that i'm doing for planning my wedding so uh, we are very varied here and if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see me film for you guys definitely let me know in the comments below and until then i hope you have a lovely Day and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.